Hello, I'm Alex, and we will be learning about Figura, a Minecraft mod where you can create custom avatars. Now, Figura is a mod all about modeling and coding. However, for this series, we'll be focusing on mainly the coding part. Now, all Figura avatars are made using a code editor and block bench. For this tutorial series, I will be using Visual Studio Code. Most other code editors will work for this though. This series will be assuming you have already installed the Figura mod and you know how to download stuff on your operating system. You can download Blockbench at blockbench.net. Learning the UI. You can open the Figura menu in the pause menu. It's this little triangle. From here, you have your wardrobe, permissions, settings, and help menus. The wardrobe is where every avatar is stored. You can create and equip avatars here. The permissions menu is where you can manage over player's permissions. Settings allows you to manage Figura and help gives you miscellaneous links to help you learn the mod. Creating your avatar. For this tutorial, we will be making a small custom avatar based on your own skin. To create an avatar, press this little plus button. Name your avatar. And optionally, fill in the description and offer details. Now, since we want to use our skin as a base, we will want to press the Include a Model switch. Then, press the Player Model switch. This will give us our player model to mess around with. For now, that's all we'll be needing, so press Create at the bottom here. File Structure. A folder should have opened up. If not, right click on the avatar and press Open Folder. This is your avatar's folder. This will contain all of the data of your avatar and will be where any file is. Scripts are .lua Lua files. We don't have any here, so makes sense that we don't see any. The avatar icon, as you can see here, is avatar.png. Avatar metadata is stored in avatar.json. As you can see here, the avatar name, description, offers, color, anything like that. And any models are blockbench models, .bb models. Blockbench. Open the model.bb model file. If you installed Blockbench correctly, it should open up. This is Blockbench, a tool for modeling and animating, particularly for Minecraft. Here we have textures, the model outliner, painting for textures, and the animator. For now, we just want to work on our custom model. This should be very simple. I want to say, have a bigger head. Click on the head folder and the outliner. Turn on the resize tool, either by pressing the icon or by pressing S. Here we'll be able to resize our folder. So let's scale it up. Now that looks funny. Now let's save the model. We can do this either by pressing Ctrl S or by going to File and Save Model. Now, since we have a texture in our model, we'll be prompted to save the texture. You can choose to do this if you want. I'll be saving it. Now, switch over to Minecraft and click on your Figure Avatar. Introduction to Scripting. Uh oh! It appears that both our custom model and our player model are showing at the same time. We need to hide our player model. To do this, we can start scripting our avatar. Open up the avatar folder and create a new text file. Before we go further, make sure you can see file extensions. If you can't and are on Windows, you can go to View and make sure file name extensions is checked. Rename that text file to script.lua. 
make sure to replace the file extension from .txt to .lua. Now, open the script in your code editor. Then, write the following. Vanilla underscore model dot player set visible false. Now, you may be wondering what this all means. Well, vanilla model controls the default vanilla models of your player. This includes armor, parrots, held items, and your player model. Player refers to your player model. This is your skin and cape. Set visible changes the visibility attribute of said player model, and false makes it invisible. So altogether, the vanilla player model's visibility gets set to false, making it so you can only see your custom model. Save and go back to Minecraft to make sure it worked. Neat! You know what, let's put some armor on. Uh-oh, the helmet doesn't work on our avatar. Well, thankfully, we can just hide the helmet too. Go back into the script. Copy and paste this line. Now, replace player with helmet. This will target anything in your helmet slot. Save and go back. Boom! Now we have our helmet on, but it's hidden, meaning our head works. Congratulations on making your first Figura model. In the next episode, we will be talking about creating actions and assigning them to the action wheel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye!